Hi, this is Dr. Pichenik. Today I want to address a concept called nihilism, the belief in nothing, either in the future, the present, or the past. It's a very real philosophy. It's a very real concept. Believe me, what we've seen in the past 80 days, all the way from Los Angeles, Chicago, Minneapolis, Oregon, Portland, and all the other cities where we've seen destruction, Antifa, we've seen the rise of Black Lives Matter, which says absolutely nothing except garbage, and is funded by the Rockefeller brothers to the tune of $100 million, as well as the Hunt brothers, as well as the Democrats. We have a problem now where America has gone from American exceptionalism to American nihilism. Now, what is nihilism? It's basically a belief in nothing. You don't believe in the past. You don't believe in the present or the future. You don't believe in God, country, or any spirit or any military adventures. You don't believe in anything, not even in yourself or the present times. What happens in nihilism is complete destruction or self-destruction. There was a very famous anarchist by the name of Bakunin in the 1800s who said, in nihilism, we either destroy or be destroyed. The colleague to Bakunin was a man by the name of Nietzsche. Nietzsche wrote about the rise of the Superman and the need to destroy all present society. Of course, what did we get from Nietzsche? We got the rise of Hitler, fascism, and the concept of the Superman. That didn't last very long until we defeated the Nazis. With Bahunin and Marx, Karl Marx, that is, who believed that we should overthrow society and put the proletariats in, which really was nothing more than a nihilistic th concept, he believed in the overthrow of the nation state in Russia. And what did we get then? We got the appearance of another totalitarian leader by the name of Stalin. <laughs> Stalin killed only 20 to 30 million Russians before World War II, and included in that were about 8 to 9 million Christian Ukrainians who he slaughtered simply because they were Christian Ukrainians and starved them to death. That's the basis of nihilism. Then we have, of course, Mao Zedong, who not only created the Communist Party, but in his own frustration against the orders of Liu Chaoqi, and Zhou Enlai, he slaughtered during the cultural revolutions in the 50s and 60s close to 20 to 30 million Chinese because they weren't following some concept, which he himself didn't even believe in. It wasn't communism. It wasn't any theory. He just decided that he had to slaughter these people in order to renew the vitality of a Mao Zedong communist culture. Nonsense. So what do we have here? We have nihilists who are destroying our country. We have the media, which is determining that people like myself who are wearing Hawaiian shirts are representative of the alternative media. That's correct. I am the protagonist for the alternative right because I wear a Hawaiian shirt. At the same time, having been a concert pianist and having played Chopin and Beethoven and Schubert, I am also a male superior white supremacist because I believe in the importance of the former composers who happen to be white. Of course, none of the nihilists understand music, none of the nihilists understand philosophy, none of the nihilists believe in religion, none of the nihilists other than being self-aggrandizing, self-destructive, and very, very sociopathic, they have no future. What is the mental condition of these people? Well, the Generation Z, which is really nihilism, has 30 to 45 percent suicide rate. General, uh, G Generation X has about 15 to 20 percent, and the millennials have the fewest suicide rate of all, about 5 to 10 percent. So nihilism in and of itself will lead to mental disorders, trust me. And there will be repercussions as to what these nihilists have been doing in America. Fortunately for us, Trump has come to the forefront and stated the following. We make America great. Now, the one, we make it in an economic uh, engine. Number two, we withdraw our military and develop a stronger military. And we go to cyber communication and Star Wars. And number three, we will dis negate any kind of treaty that doesn't go to our, adventure, uh, to our advantage. Let me say the following. Voltaire once said, he who loves all of man loves no man. 
Bahunin says, destroy or be destroyed. And now I say to you, good luck and God bless.